Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my updated foundation routine, specifically how I cover up my acne and my scarring and all that. I have been suffering from um, pretty bad breakouts lately and of course the one day I film this video, my breakouts decide to kind of die down and not be swollen and not be all pimply and all that. So my acne doesn't even look very bad in this video in my opinion, well compared to what it's been lately. Um, but I have been getting some pretty bad breakouts in like the last um, six to eight months probably. I'm not sure why I really need to go to the dermatologist. I just haven't done that, but I need to do that soon. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I covered that up. And when you look at me, you can't even tell I have acne or that um, I have scarring or any of that. So I think that this foundation routine works pretty well. So if you guys would like to see my foundation routine, then please keep watching. So first I am going to prime my face, and I just started using this primer and I actually really like it. It's by Benefit, it's the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. And it's just a little sample size, so it looks like this. So what I learned about this product is that once you apply it to your face, you immediately after rubbing it in, you want to go ahead and put your foundation on it. So you want to work in sections with this product in order for it to work the best. So I'm going to start like right here on my face and right here. As you can see, um, I have a lot of scarring on this side of my face. So that is what I'm going to be aiming to cover up. I'm going to be applying this primer and then I'm going to be spot treating the places where I have a lot of scarring on my face. And I'm going to be doing that with the Graftobian foundation palette. And it just looks like this. It has tons of colors. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face in one section and then go right in with the Graftobian foundation and cover up the scarring on my face. Now right away I'm going to go in with the Graftobian. And this is very full coverage, so you only need a little bit. And it pretty much completely covered up the scarring on my face. So it works really good, so I'm going to move on to this side. Because I do have a little bit of scarring on this side as well. And then a little bit on my chin too. I have a breakout right here, so I'm going to cover that up. And as you can see, that evened out my skin tone a lot. Um, now because I did that, I don't have to use as much foundation. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to prime the rest of my face and go in with my foundation. And of course, I'm still using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade NC40. So I'm going to be using this with my Real Technique sponge. I'm still using this too. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I really like this. Now I'm going to be applying my concealer and I kind of switch it up every day, it just depends on which one I grab on what I'm going to use. Um, today I'm just going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this one is in the shade NC20. So I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, chin and forehead. I apologize, my camera cut off right in the middle of me filming my concealer, so um, I'm sorry about that, I apologize. But all I did, I didn't really do anything special. I just blended the concealer right under my eyes. So I just blended it like this. And then I took the extra product and I just blended it down my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And that's basically all I did. And I also went ahead and did my eyebrows because I am going to be filming an updated eyebrow routine soon. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer and also my face. So to set both, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Press Powder. And this is my favorite powder ever for both under the eyes and on my face. It just makes everything look so airbrushed and flawless and I love the finish that it gives. So it just looks like that and I'm going to go ahead and apply it under my eyes. 
and I'm using like a three dollar elf brush to do this um, this is the mineral powder brush and I actually really like all the elf brushes I think they're really good quality for the price so that is what I'm using to set up my under eyes Since my face is a little bit lighter than the rest of my body, I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face. So I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one's a medium deep. And I'm going to be using a tapered uh, fluffy brush like this. And I'm just going to bronze up um, my cheekbones, the sides of my head, and also blend it down my neck. And now that it's summer, I like to have a little more of a glow. So I'm going to also blend this, which is Max Gold Deposit, um, also on my cheekbones as well and a little bit on the sides of my face. It's just a really pretty um, shimmery bronzer and it gives you a really nice glow. I know a lot of people don't like shimmery bronzers, but I think for summer um, it's okay because everyone wants that bronzy summer glow. So that is what I'm going to do. And again, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. And now for blush, I've recently gone back to my favorite blush, and it's the Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. And this is shimmery as well, but um, it doesn't look bad on the face since I have like a shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush. Um, it actually looks pretty natural and glowy. Um, and it doesn't look too much. I know you guys might be thinking that that's way too much shimmer, but it actually looks really nice together. And instead of coming off really, really pink, this instead just gives you like a nice flushed glow. I know I keep saying that word glow, but I like a glow in the summer, don't you guys? So that's what I'm trying to get. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using this little duo that I got from Stila and it's the kitten duo so i'm going to be using there's two shades in this there's like um a pinky shade and then there's also a gold shade so i'm going to be using the more pink one and i'm going to apply that to my cheekbones and now i'm going to apply the rest of my makeup real quick and i will be right back and this is the final look so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on twitter and instagram my handles will be below and i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you in my next one bye